let's go out to the rail yards of Paris and look at the life of a typical French worker. This man riding around on the turntable is called Jacques Dupont, 32 years old. We picked him because he's fairly representative of the skilled workers of Paris and also because he's an active trade unionist. He doesn't belong to the communist union. He's dissatisfied with wages and working conditions in his job, but he's not looking to Stalin for a solution. He's a member of one of the free anti-communist trade unions. The railways are important to France. That's why one of the first things American aid did in France was to help rebuild the shattered railway system. The men who service these engines are not very different from American railway workers, except that they work longer, earn less, and are exposed to tremendous political pressure from the right and the left. The communists work hard to influence men like Jacques. Their big talking point is that the French worker is worse off than he was before the war. Well, that's probably true, but Jacques and his buddies aren't looking for a party line. They just want a better standard of living. <laughs> 